What's up everybody, welcome back to yet another video. It's me, Taj, and today we're gonna to be opening something English. Yeah, I don't open many English products these days, but I'm fortunate enough to have a very good friend who really looks out for me whenever there's pre-releases. And um, I haven't managed to secure a full kit this time, like I have the last few times, but um, he did help me get four build and battle pre-release kits for battle styles and the prize packs to go with it so i'm super chuffed that we've got an opportunity to open this um rightfully so the local game shop owner who um provided me with this has kept loads back for the kids in his local area when lockdown ends they can go and participate in a late pre-release so i'm all for that uh but he has um spared me a few kits for us to do this video so let's crack on and see what we get so we've got our 12 participation packs here so three for each kit we're going to open those at the end what we're going to do is we're going to open up one of each of these four kits and see what promos we get there are some amazing promos houndoom looks stunning there's cherim octillery and i cannot remember what the fourth one was but uh, we might come across it we'll have to wait and see okay so let's um rip the plastic off this first one let's have a look what it says at the back as with any pre-releases you say build and battle kits you get a 23 card evolution pack you get uh, one of the four unique full promo cards with that evolution pack you get four packs of battle style in this box and the great thing is because these are not seeded in any way it could be anything you can get rainbow res full arts it's not like a booster box where you sort of only guaranteed a certain amount of things you can get nothing or a ton of stuff so there we go we got um a rapid strike um Urshifa there and single strike Urshifa on the inside so very nice indeed there he is on the back again uh same style as on the outside i do like this and we've got single strike on the back so very nice style box indeed i do like collecting these boxes as well oh the first one is houndoom okay so we've just seen that let's have a quick look um, these used to be a lot smaller, it's a lot bigger, it's about it's double the width than what it used to be. Gives you a guide on how to build a pre-release kit. So there you go, you can pause that, read that if you like. Let me move that a bit this way because my face cam will be in the corner, post-production. And on the back, this is very nice. Um, actually I could keep this in an A4 file or something. Um, you've got a full set list and does it include no it doesn't it only includes the cards up to yeah all the full arts i think yeah so that's great set list boom pop that down there let's have a look at what we've got in here so we've got the houndoom promo we've got four packs there um we're going to open this so you guys can see what happens so essentially when you attend i might be preaching to you guys who already know but for those of you who've never been to a pre-release and new to this, what happens is you attend a pre-release, you get one of these kits, you open it up, you check what promo you got. So we've got Houndoom. So we're going to have a line here of dark Pokemon um, that will help Houndoom. You're always going to have something that's probably a stage one. Very rarely do you get a basic. Sometimes you do. But essentially what you're going to get is, first of all, you're going to get a code card at the back, which I'll be using on the TCG. And that essentially gives you this promo and some cards to go with it. But then what we get is this and some very useful trainer cards, Pokemon. So you can literally, it's called the evolution deck. So then you can use it to build the core of a deck. Now you're meant to build a 40 card deck. There is no limits in pre-release. You can have as many copies of a card as you want. This is usually a hollow. So this is a pre-release exclusive, which we've had in the past of this particular card as well. Professor's Research, non hollow version. You get it in some decks as well, theme decks. Um, Rapid Strike Energy. This is a new energy card for this particular um, mechanics of Single Strike and Rapid Strike. We've got Artillery here. I believe this is meant to be a hollow. It's also a pre-release promo. Now, what you will notice is the pre-release promos do have different artwork as well to the regular artwork in the set. So this one's a fighting um, water. It's, it's obviously the rapid, it's got rapid strike cards in here, even though Houndoom is single strike, but we've got some single strike as well. There's Bruno, another professor's research. We've got Sonya here. We've got the single strike energy. Uh, there's your Houndoom line now. So two copies of um, Houndor. Houndoom, I believe is also a hollow in this set. So there you go. That's a perfect example. 
there are different artworks. The pre-releases always have different, unique artwork to the main set card. So two hand dooms there, so we've got three in total. And a Stojourner as well. So there we go. So it's sort of, this one's a fighting and dark deck, as you can see. You can sort of build the core of. Now you're probably wondering, well, there's a water octillery in there. Um, but look at the ability of that. It's got once during your turn, you may search your deck for a rapid strike card or reveal it put it into your hand and shuffle your deck so you can use the mechanics of the rapid strike and single strike single strike raw is hound doom's uh, ability once during your turn you may search your deck for a single strike energy card and attach it to one of your single strike pokemon then shuffle your deck if you attach energy to a pokemon in this way put two damage counters on that pokemon okay so we've had a look at the evolution deck and then what you would do is open the four packs so let's open these and see what other cards you got to help you build a deck, essentially. Now, obviously, if you pull stuff which, ooh, white code card. This should be interesting. Hopefully something good. Two, three, four to the front. Um, yeah, if you pull something, so we've got fighting energy there. Energies, you're literally at a pre-release. You'll be given however many energies you need. Now, the 40 card deck, I would usually say put in 12, 13 energies, depending on how much energies you need for certain um, Pokemon in your deck. Got Rapid Star, uh, Star Mustard, so you'd probably use that Timber again, so that's quite nice. Glaring Slowpoke, you might not use this, depending on if you've got the Evolution line. There's a Corphish, uh, Salandits, Roly Coley, ooh, a Minchow, a Reverse Hollow, and we've got something good here. What have we got? Oh, Necrozma V. So we start off our first pack with a V card, very nice. Card 63 of 163. It is now the E regulation. Um, so I don't know if you guys know this regulation mark here. I did do a video on it a while back. You can check that out. But what do regulation marks and what do these marks in the bottom mean? This is gonna be for E regulation, so for standard rotation, which will be the following year. So we'll pop that on the card stand at the back. Let's move these kits out of the way. We'll get to those in just a moment. Move the cards down a bit forward so we can keep an eye on our hits as we go through this. Let's open up uh, box, sorry, pack number two and see if this one has got anything in it. We're not going to ruin it. We're going to pop the code card to one side. One, two, three, four to the front. As we do with English sets. Uh, Swooper, a Gliscor. We've got um, Swordwood and Shieldbert otherwise known as Jedward in the UK. Yeah, anyone, <laughs> a lot of people would know who Jedward are. And I swear these two guys are based upon them. Just as Rose is based on me. Uh, yes, uh, Phalanx, Reverse Hollow Rare, very nice indeed. And we got a Licky Licky Regular Rare. So that's the second pack. So nothing outstanding from there. These packs are just falling apart. Um, I need to try and keep hold of at least one of each artwork which would be nice i've not be, even been paying attention to the artwork on the front of them but i think it's we've got empoleon and tyranitar and i think it's going to be ursha first so we'll see what well, we got we've got single strike scroll of scorn broxich zubat remoraid onyx very nice artwork there obviously we've seen all these cards before in japanese if you haven't seen the videos go and check them out um ichigeki and rengeki were the sets single strike master and rapid strike master in Japanese and this is pretty much exactly those cards that were in those sets they've only added that sword bird a uh, sword bird and shield bird or whatever their names are Jedward we've got a belt on regular rare in this one um, to this set that one card so basically it's 163 cards um so yeah oh white code card nice okay we should just do that, show you what colour the code card is, and then, then we seem to be having a bit of luck. So we've got Leaf Energy, we've got Broxich, Buffalon, Level Ball, very nice. Level Ball's back, and this is going to be highly used, I'm sure. There's also a gold card version of this. Search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. That's right. This is searching out Pokemon, filling your bench up. You want to get Level Balls early in the game. Just start powering up your bench, get, getting stuff on there. Um, using those rapid strike and single strike mechanics to really power up your attacks, which would be great. We've got Swooper and, ooh, yes, nice. Our second V, we have got Mimikyu, one of my favorite Pokemon. 
I wasn't so keen on this artwork, very CGI 90s sort of early 2000s style CGI and I was like mm, not really happy with it but you know what it's a Mimikyu so I'm very happy with that that'll go into my Mimikyu collection for sure so that's very nice 62 uh, of 163 so we've got 62 and 63 um, I could build a psychic deck around this <laughs> this is looking pretty good okay let's head on to the next let me just move these cards out of the way and then we'll move on to the next kit. So let's have a look what we've got in this one. Um, cut the plastic off. Let's see what promos in kit number two. Is it gonna be Houndoom again? Well, that cut wasn't very good. Okay, managed to get it off though. Let's have a look, let's, what we, let's see what we got in this one. So, slide the cover off and we've got do, 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 do Octillery, okay, that's nice. Um, pop that down there. Pop that to the side. Four packs, we've got Empoleon. We have got, yeah, both Urshifers and Tyranitar. So it's nice to get all four artworks there. So very nice. Shall we, um, let's open this up and see this evolution kit. See what we get in this one. Okay, put the code card down and let's have a look at what this Octillery kit contains. We've got Octillery, uh, Karina's Focus, Alistair. We really want Karina's Focus as a full art. That'd be fantastic. Got Sonya, Rapid Strike, Energy. You might have noticed some of these full arts, I mean, some of these um, supporter cards are from different sets. Alistair's from Vivid Voltage. Sonya is from Rebel Clash. So they're not necessarily in these evolution kits from this particular set. There we go. We've got Octillery again. Uh, let's compare that again. The artwork is very different. So you can have a look, but exactly the same card, exactly the same moves and attacks and abilities. So um, we've got that. Um, Minfu is in this one as well. It's three copies of Minfu. Min Shao, two copies of that. We've got Level Ball, very nice. Another Alistair, got another Sonya. Professor's Research again. Uh, Drampa the Grandpa, there we go. We've got Cherubi, a couple of copies of that. We've got Cherub which again is one of the promos in this set. So very nice to get that. And a couple of Tapu Bulus. Very nice, always nice to get a Tapu. One of the Island Guardians from Alola. Uh, let's uh, get into this pack, see what we have got. A green code. So not expecting anything major. We've got nothing in the reverse holo slots in this set. Remember, this is not a special set. It's not gonna have shiny vault cards in there. So Swordwood and Shield, but like I said, this is the only card that's included from the Japanese uh, sets that wasn't in um, Single Strike Master or Rapid Strike Master. This was a Pokemon card gym promo um, from one of the sets. So that has been included in this set just to make up the extra one card. Take it up to 163. We got a Durant and we got a Galarian, Mr. Rhyme, regular rare. Okay, let's uh, pop that to one side because that's separate from the set cards. Let's see what the second pack brings us. Code card to one side, four to the front, and we start off with a psychic energy. We've got a sw spooper. Single strike uh, mustard. Uh, single strike style mustard. Mustard's got two um, support cards and, well, six in total because two different cards. You've got the full art version as well and you've got the rainbow ray version as well. Uh, very nice. One of them is by Mitsuhiro Arita and I think that is the single strike one, I believe. Um, so, some very nice artwork on that. So we've got Glary, Mr. Rhyme. We've got Lux Ray. Uh, very nice, amazing artwork on that Luxray. Loved it when it came out in Japanese. Reverse Hollow Rare. And we got a Licky Licky again. Okay. Licky Licky seems to be the troll card today, trolling us twice. We've got it now. Let's see what we got in this pack. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's see if this pack has got anything in it. It's got a white code, so that's a good sign indeed. Broxich. Carnivine, whoops, we've got a Scatterbug, Yampa, very nice artwork on that Yampa, Licky Tongue, there we go, we've got a Zubat, Remoraid, 
Reverse Hollow Galerium Mr. Mime, and we have got that Luxray Hollow, which I mentioned. Very nice indeed. Let's pop that on the pits pile because it is a fantastic card. Okay, so only one hollow from this kit, which isn't a great return. Um, this one's a white code, so let's see what we've got in this. So we've got a water energy, uh, escape rope, grumpig, luxio. We've got a mobile. Love this mobile artwork by. Uh, Kawaii, um, very, very dynamic, really nice artwork. This is, I think, this was my favorite artwork from the set, to be fair, when I saw uh, when I first opened these in Japanese. Now uh, we've got Pichirisu, we've got a Sandaconda reverse holo rare, and we have got a full art in Polion V. We've pulled this one again. Uh, now I've got it in English. We pulled this in Japanese um, from our Rapid Strike box. And now we've got the English version. Wow, okay, so Kit 2. Lost Pack Magic from Kit 2. Um, we ended up with Full Arts, which is great. Let me just grab a sleeve for this. This one definitely needs to go in a sleeve. So I'll pop that in there. Um, so yeah, Kit 2, one hollow and a Full Art. Uh, first Kit, two Vs. So yeah, we can't complain so far. Pretty good return on those let's uh again move these cards out of the way pop them into one of the deck boxes because i know what's going to happen these are just going to fall off the side of my table and there's going to be a mess everywhere and i want to keep everything neat and tidy so let's uh be a bit organized okay let's move on to kit number three uh so we'll open this up and see what we get here don't forget we've got another Kit after this and the 12 loose packs, the prize packs to open as well. So potential for a lot more good stuff. Okay, let's see what we've got in this one. We have got Cherim. Okay, that is lovely. All right, brilliant. We've got Cherim, got four packs. Let's pop this to one side. So let's see what we would have got in there. Cherim. Um, Evolution line. So this beautiful Cherim Hollow. Uh, we've got uh, Karina's Focus again, a Professor's Research, Dan makes an appearance, Rapid Strike Energy, Remoraid, Octillery again, Minfu line again, Men Shao, Level Ball, Alistair's back, Sonia, Professor's Research, Trampa the Grandpa, Cherubi, Cherubi, another Cherim. There we go. You can see the difference in the promo and the regular version. Two Cherims there and another couple of Tapu, Bulus, and I forgot to take the code card out. Let's pop that down there. Okay, so there we go. We have been very lucky indeed. We have got uh, three of the four promos. Let's see if we get, and these are the three I remembered. Let's see if we get the uh, the last one, which I can't remember what it was from the <laughs> from the final <laughs> from the final uh, kit. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, white code card. Four to the front. Let's see what we've got. Looks like it could be possibly a V. Single strike energy. We've got camping gear. Yeah, it looks almost like it looks like a photograph. So I don't know whether that's CGI or whether it's a photograph, but yeah, not very um, interesting. Honage, yes, we've got Honage by Soso, my favorite artist. So that will be going, whoops, into my Soso collection. There are a couple of Soso cards in this. We've got um, Luxio, is it, I think? And Tyranitar V, nice. We got a must single strike mustard reverse holo, which is nice. And Tyranitar V, card 97 of 163. I love dark and psychic decks. That's what I seem to be pulling today. So very happy with that. So first pack, we get a V from this one. This is gonna be a similar pattern to the first kit where we end up with two Vs or will this one have something bit bigger and better? We don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Um, we have got a Metal Energy. Energy Recycler makes a return. I think we saw that in Sun and Moon base. I'm not sure now. Gerda is definitely in Sun and Moon at some point. We saw that. Um, Spiro, we've got Sizzlipede by the amazing Mari Yukamari's 
fantastic clay med models. There's the Shinx, that's what it was, the Shinx so so. So, very glad to get that Salandit. And we have this amazing NC Empire Onyx. It looks like it's out of a comic. Really, really fantastic holo card. So, um, yeah, not too bad so far. A V and a holo um, from this kit. In our first two packs. Uh, let's see what pack three of kit three gives us. Got Golbat, Glissor, Indeedy. First time we've seen this, I think, today. A Yampa, Glamiao. Again, first time I think we've seen this. Look at the artwork there. Look at the background. Really, really nice artwork there. Corefish. This one looks like it's almost like a, a late in the evening, the sun setting, or it looks like in the forest maybe with the sun shining through the, the top of the trees. Really, really atmospheric there. Scatterbug. Got a Cubone there again, really quite atmospheric. You know, sun's sort of catch, capturing a shadow there. Re uh, some of the artwork is just stunning in this set. I do have to say, I love this set for its artwork. Um, so Lazzle Reverse Hollow, and we're getting trolled, guys. We're getting trolled. Licky Licky is trolling us, trolling us for sure today. Okay, let's go to the last pack of this pre release kit before we move on to the last kit and the 12. Uh, loose packs. So, ooh, green code card. Okay. We'll just quickly skim through this one then, see what we got. We've got a single strike scroll of scorn. We've got the bishop. We haven't seen single strike energy, bell toy, timber, corfish again. We've got cacnea. Very nice. Uh, Morwar, brilliant artwork. Pharaoh, very classic looking artwork. What is it with Pharaoh? Looks like a sort of almost um, a sunburnt ho o. -oh. <laughs> to a certain extent and Scorch is our regular rare at the back okay so we've got a hollow and a v from this kit so not as good as the other kits but tyranitar was one of those v's so that's a very very nice pull okay last kit let's get into this before we go to those packs um and see what promo we've got we're going to make the complete set of four different promos or we're going to double up on something well, let's find out what we're going to double up on, if that is the case. And this one has a Houndoom. Okay, so we doubled up on Houndoom. I'm not going to open that. We'll just keep that there. And we'll get into the four packs. Put that down there. Okay, I'm going to move these 12 loose packs just to the side here. There's our four packs from the kit. So let's see what these give us, because I'm running out of space down here so okay four to the front and we've got Grumpig by the amazing Comia uh, Scroll of Scorn Bruxich Bellsprout Bronzor Murkrow um, in that graveyard looking up the, at the night sky probably looking straight at the um, full moon there by the looks of it horsey Cherubi, we have got Gerda and Center Scorch again. Okay. Are we gonna finish with a flourish with these kits? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's been a fun opening so far. Okay, let's pop the code card to one side. Four to the front, and let's see what this one holds. Dark energy, Phoebe makes her appearance so during this turn damage from your pokemon's vmax's attacks isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active pokemon <clears throat> okay cool that's quite useful Fero, electro buzz horsey got cherubi a licky tongue again electro buzz look how dynamic that is hasuno is an artist on that one uh conkelder and a Corviknight V, very nice. It's a great looking V card there. So that's pretty good. We've not doubled up on any of the Vs so far. Um, four unique Vs and a full RV. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Okay. Let's see what this one's got. We've got a Leaf Energy. Phoebe again, um, Carnivine, again, very nice artwork. Akita, Agawa, Pharaoh, 
Hound Door, Scatterbug, another so so card. Let's pop that there. Gligar, this one just looks stunning. Really, really nice artwork. Electrobuzz, Pavilion, and a Primate. Okay. Let's see what the last pack of these kits holds. Okay. One, two, three, four to the front. We've got ourselves a Lightning Energy. We have got a Dewblade. Cheryl, we haven't seen Cheryl yet. Heal all damage from each of your evolution Pokemon. If you do, discard all energy from the Pokemon that were healed in this way. Okay, that's uh, pretty good. Onage, fantastic. Gligar again. Bronzor. Bellsprout. Remoraid. And we end with a Claydol from these kits. Okay, so that was pretty good. I think we've done all right. And I'm dropping stuff now. Oh, I'll pick that up in a minute. Let's get on to the packs. Let's just crack on with these 12 packs now, shall we? And see what we've got. Okay. It's been a pretty good video so far. It is getting a bit lengthy though, so I'm sure you guys just want to see what we've got. So we're going to speed through these a bit quicker. We've seen most of these cards now. If I see one that we haven't seen yet, like this one, we will slow down a bit. Kingdra. Reverse Hollow Rare, very nice indeed. And we got a Jelly Scent. Uh, regular Rare, again, amazing Comia artwork on that one. Two great cards there, uh, the Kindra and that Jelly Scent. Okay. I've not kept any of these packs. <laughs> but uh, you know what, doesn't matter because um, yeah. Don't know why I need to keep them anyway. Uh, Weeping Bell, Indeedy. We've got Swordword and Shield Bird again. We've got Pawnyard, Houndor, uh, Shinx. Have I just revealed? Yeah, I've just revealed what's at the back there. Shinx, uh, Gligars, Poink, <laughs> Rapid Strike, Skull, Scroll of Swirls, and a Houndoom Hollow. Okay, so we've got a Hollow from that pack. It's obviously a white code. Let's see what this pack gives us. Towards the front, and we'll quickly skim through this Luxio, Indeedy, Swordbutt and Shieldbutt, Flipbug, Rodicoli, Chimecho, Onyx, Sizzlipede, we got the Glammeow Reverse Hollow, rare, very nice, and a Galarian Slowbro having its arm chomped away. Fantastic. Oh my god, what's happening with this one? Just doesn't want to open. Okay. Pack trick four to the front. And we have got escape ropes back. Tower of Waters. Retreat cost of each rapid strike Pokemon in play. Both yours and appointment opponents is two less. Nice. Fermentus, Sparrow, Zubat, Cubone. We've got a Frillish. Entei. Look at that Entei reverse hollow rare. Very nice and a Marowak at the end as well. Fantastic looking cards. It's not always about the uh, Vs and the Vmaxes. Sometimes you've got to appreciate the artwork in those commons, uncommons and rares as well. Some amazing stuff for sure in this set. Okay, let's have a look. Anything new in this one? Another Honage, let's pop that down there. A Scatterbug and a Vavillion. Cool. I think we pulled the Vavillion in a reverse hollow form earlier on. Okay. Forward to the front. Anything in here. Dewblade, Cacturn, we saw that early on. Tepig, very nice. There is a story going on in the Tepig cards. Pichirisu, Minfu, Baltoy, Mankey, and we got Sturgeoner. Uh, regular rare which we saw in the evolution kits earlier on didn't know whether it was a hollow or not but obviously it is not okay four to the front and uh, this pack has got uh anything new don't think so Ooh, more peco nice we got more peco uh, reverse hollow more peco hangry more peco Hangry Tackle is its move. If you have no cards in your hand, this attack does 90 more damage. It does 110 for one dark energy, but you've literally got to have nothing in your hand. So, that's an interesting one. Could be good for pre-release, that. Could be good at pre-release. 
Okay. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Cheryl again. We've got Bishop. Weeping Bell. Salandit. Bellsprout. Um, oh, yes. We've got Reverse Hollow Shinx. Very happy with that. We've got Phalanx. Regular Rare. Okay. Not going amazingly with these loose packs. We haven't got anything at the moment. Um, so let's hope we can get something. What? White code in this one. Oops, what am I doing with that? Okay, Phoebe, Honchcrow, we've got Bruxich, we've got Blipbug, Silicobra, Houndor, Lickitung, we've got a Horsey, Fromantis, Reversal of Rare, and... <laughs> of all the rainbow rares I would have wanted, this is probably not it, but it is a rainbow rare, so we gotta, gotta give it props. Falapple VMAX. Uh, let's see if we can see any of that texture. There we go. You see the texture there? Yeah. Wow, okay, let's... We've got, we've got, we've got to give it the honor of a, of a sleeve. So we've got one full art, one rainbow. Uh, both are Pokemon, not supporters. I have a lot of supporters to get. I think there's six full art supporters in this set so what that basically means is I'm gonna to have to go and hunt out 12 cards uh, essentially those are gonna be the only 12 cards I'm looking for in this set um, another Shinx that's very nice for my so so collection We've got a Luxio reverse hollow rare and we got a bronzong hollow okay so another hollow um, yeah it's 12 packs come on last two packs can they give us something so far it's just been a couple of hollows I think and a rainbow rare which to be fair is probably the box hit from this uh, booster box so <sighs> let's see let's see what's going on we've got a gliscor sword red and shield but pharaoh tepic again picturisu mean foo beltoid galeri mr grime dotler and oh yes oh yes we've got tapu coco v Look at the artwork on this. It is just amazing. I love this when I first saw this in Japanese. Stunning, stunning looking card. So very happy to pull that. Okay, last pack. We're gonna have any last pack magic or not. Let's um, see what this one gives us. Uh, we've got four to the front and let's see what we got. Okay, no, not there, down there. Uh, Weeping Bell, Cacnea, Spoink, Roly Coly, we've got Frillish, Esper, Reverse Hollow, uh, Buffalant, and we end with a Salazzle. Okay, so got a huge a pile of cards now. Um, so probably completed about, I would say, 70 to 80% of the bait of the 163 card set. I'll go through that in a little while, but let's have a look at what we've managed to pull today. We have got a few hollows. We got, yeah, we didn't double up on any of the V maxes, on the V, sorry, which is always a good thing. So let's uh, just pop these things into some sort of order out of all these um, packs that we have got. So let's see what we got. So from four kits, which is 16 packs, and the prize packs, which is a further 12, so 28 packs, uh, this is what we got. Uh, we've got a Luxray Hollow. We've got a Steelix Hollow. We got a Bronzong Hollow. We've got a Houndoom Hollow. So we've got four Hollows. We've got Mimikyu V. We've got a Necrozma V. We've got Tyranitar V. Tapu Koko V. And Corviknight V. So five V cards. And we got a Full Art Empoleon V and a Flapple of V Max. So not too bad. I would say those Vs. And these two are probably what you'd expect in an average booster box, maybe. And then some, obviously a lot more hollows. So pretty happy with that pull rate, to be fair. Obviously the highlights have got to be, I would say, these four cards for me. Oops. Five. <laughs> these four. <laughs> Tyranitar, Tafikoko, the Flapple, obviously Rainbow Rare, and the Empoleon Full Art. Guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't open English products that much these days. But it is nice to open pre-release kits. And again, big thank you to my anonymous friend who's helped me get these. Uh, I don't reveal his name because of the fact I don't want him to get bombarded. And he does want to get bombarded by people making requests, which he's going to have to refuse. Um, he really does help me out. We Yes. So thank you. You know who you are. 
and I'll see you guys on the next video. We've got some other stuff. I've got, um, uh, bum. I've already recorded it, but you guys are going to see it soon. Oh, my camera's tilted. I didn't even realize all the way through this. We've got the, um, Bandai Pokemon Scale World. You can see a couple of the characters in the background there. Volume 2 opening of Galarian, um, Vol Gala Region Volume 2. That I already recorded. I was going to put that up before this, but then this turned up. And I've also got a box of Dream League, which I opened up as well. Really good pulls in that box. You're going to have to watch that one as well. So, And then we've got Matchless Fighters coming out, 22nd of March. So we'll have a video up from the 25th, I think, um, for that. We're going to be opening a couple of booster boxes of that. So um, I look forward to seeing you guys soon for more videos. And take care of yourselves. Bye.